the generation that I grew up with, I refuse to call it a millennial generation. This is a fucked up label, obviously. It's the most pussified generation ever. You remember, since when did I like to talk to manager? And again, this didn't happen to me per se. Since when did I like to talk to manager has become a laughing matter. And the fact that you go home like a fucking bitch ass pussy and you write a spiteful review either on Yelp or any other platform has become glorified. We're raising a bunch of pussified millennial fucked up generation we pra by praising the fact that it's okay to like, see, growing up, if we had a problem with anything, either food or product, we had that we had enough courage to muster to go out. That's what our parents taught us. Muster enough courage, talk to the manager, and um, resolve the matter. And that's what a man would do. That's what a gentleman would do. That's what a civilized person would do. But we're raising this fucked up society where everything is technological. Everything is reviewed. Yelp, Amazon, fucking dislike button. Fucking, I go to leeches. They have fucking likes and social approval for a fucking comment, for a single line comment, a message board comment. How fucked up is that? You want to take a shit? Review that. You fart it? Review that. Fucking everything is a fucking fucked up review culture. And review culture is toxic. And the thing is, it's not even Vox Populi is right. Vox Populi, Vox Day. Voice of the people is voice of the God. No. Well, because you go to YouTube, the, this plethora of uh, videos that suggest the points of the blatant racism and anti-immigration, this is sort of this white pride racism in Europe, and uh, this this blatant in your face the muslims are this this anti-muslim um sentiment and they get they get like the, the uh dislike to like is about 90, 92 92 97 percent to like whatever so it's not as if and again i'm not i'm not i don't follow religion religion i'm not muslim but i can empathize i have the i'm anti-bully that's what i am and this thing with uh review culture and this dislike I mean, it's not as if the, that's the, and it's not even that. You go to Donald Trump's page, or you go to Facebook, the people are so spiteful. I, you know what? I fucking, I'm actually happy that COVID-19 is fucking tearing the society apart because it's showing how spiteful and hateful people are. They use, they're so spiteful, they use the laughing emoji to show their spite as a disagreement. And you can even show dissent nowadays. Like John Green, you see, I, I just typed in John Green sucks and, just because someone voted and dissent his contrarian view about John Green, suddenly he got like plenty of uh, spiteful uh, dislikes for no reason. I don't hate him per se, but I'm not a fan of Crash Course. It's like they have this people has this hypocritical view where everyone should be lovey dovey kumbaya. If you, even if you hate something, even if you use the word hate or like neg uh, like uh, negative, like anything that is not positive that we vilify we lame as them but the point being at at heart we're not a compassionate uh, you know liberal uh, like what i'm what i mean by liberal is this magnanimous magnanimous uh, being we 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 are, we are full of spite and hate and I'm, and this i'm and you know what if covid-19 is showing that the world is going to hell, hell in a handbasket i'm fucking happy for it you want to see spite that's spite for you So instead of creating a generation that says, you know what, let's, let's resolve matters in a civilized way, where dissent is praised, where it's like everything is this, we're creating a bunch of fucking toddlers and babies. And I love babies and toddlers, so I don't want to use that term in a pejorative way. And even that has somehow become a pejorative way. I don't know why I'm cynical so and bitter in the morning, but that's exactly what Miss Society has become. And, it, and probably it has to do with this nerdy Silicon Valley technological entrepreneurs, whether it be fucking, you know, they say, Jeff Bezos, he's like, he's like a beta cock who will bend over backwards to please customers, even though Amazon customer service is one of the worst in the history. And uh, so he, we have this, this custom, no, customer is not always right. A customer comes and a fucking spits on your face, you're a 7-Eleven clerk, that doesn't mean he's a fucking right. Okay, so it works both ways. So, I mean, yeah, I understand why all this review culture comes, they, especially Yelp. Like, okay, there could be some situations where you could not probably voice out your opinion. Obviously, you're fucking, fucking all this SGW-ish, fucking this liberal pussy, fucking all this... Uh, 
who doesn't have who glorifies all this fucking this cringy the, the, this i don't want to get into fucking but you know what i'm saying you're fucking you glorify you glorify spinelessness you glorify beta cockiness so you have those kind of people who who somehow feel the need you go to your safe space and um that's the and that's where only we can voice our opinion and uh and yeah there could be some places like that where you can um where you feel that but that's the whole point you have to you have to learn to grow up and that's the cha- part of the challenge is you, you, there's some things in life aren't comfortable you have to go against the grain you have to speak up and you have to speak up what you believe in and but we don't allow that we allow this fucked up broken system where even dissent is not allowed and even if the dissent is sort of um even the dissent is sort of vile like the the whole blatant anti race uh, the racism and anti muslim anti immigration blatant white power uh, racism in uh, youtube that gets that gets lauded and you vilify any country and dissent which is uh, which we which we perceive as a threat just because it, it just because it has a negative connotation to it what a fucked up cult, spiteful culture we live in and i hope to hell fucking covid-19 destroys fucking it. it's funny how europe is getting ravaged isn't it huh where the uh, african countries or the um, third third world countries are relatively untouched and you might think i mean well fuck yeah this is this is what you made me this is the, this i'm the product of the fucking society i don't want to be bitter and for no reason but i'm a fucking stupid review and yeah like i just saw a comment where one guy was asking was asking like what what has bill gates done that uh that is really so malevolent and he was actually genuinely asking for uh, uh answers and this bait of uh, this lynch mob mentality this fucking pussified lynch mob who feel co- comfortable in the safe space in a behind keyboard starting putting the laughing emoji i mean all he wanted and again i'm anti vaccine and everything i'm anti i have uh, i'm i'm really not a bill gates fan i fucking hate, i think he's a fucking monster but we should be at least be able at least be able to ask uh, the question and you know generally raise the question okay fine why is that and in our culture the generation i grew up in it was okay to raise all this question dissent was dissent was, dissent was lauded you know but the pussified millennial fucking way they call it gen y generation whatever the fuck that means i'm and i'm too fucking lazy to look that up so we are raising all this pussified generation this snowflake generation where where we is full of spite and hate we look for social approval in everything so what they do they use that same and since they don't get the social approval uh, the that uh, they're not good enough they don't want to society they didn't get the validation so they use a the spite in front of this slapping smarmy emojis to like to vilify like a lynch mob and i it, and that was him okay so you know it also happened to me once i'm not a fan of dogs i mean i'm sure like again so once i uh okay well it's nuance like when i'm in a good state i like it's they're, they're okay but in a, in a in a in a normal state of mind i'm i mean i'm not i really don't like dogs and i should be able to voice out that opinion it's not because i had a fucking bad experience it's because it's not even about the dogs it's about the fucking dog owners who feel entitled that everyone should fucking like them and that's another thing i don't think that generation is entitled narcissist it's a pussy that's what you are we are pussified generation raised up in a fucking toxic review culture of technology where you don't have the guts to in a man to man have a conversation so what we do we go behind the board keep behind the keyboard and we write all stupid reviews which either even make a break a company actually you know they're fucking review for everything you farted if you fucking took a shit like and this app culture is another stupid app culture it's like you know there are the stupid juicers and what not and you have to connect it with the app the weight machine i bought the weight machine i bought it's like it doesn't even fucking function or you need a fucking app to function what is stupid like and the only reason companies do that and even fucking uh, you can talk about um i think insurance company uh, the triple even they even have apps it's like yeah i have my fucking car broke down i'm going to fucking sp- i don't have i don't have it then in the the assumption is that i'm going to somehow have a phone because everyone has phone and i should have internet access because everyone has phone and internet access and i should fucking d- somehow download an app 
and that's going to track with an uber like uber like with a video game like to just do that somehow that's going to make me feel good it's like you know some you know this apple the um, they don't give a shit about customers you know i kind of admired that because yeah you can bend over backwards to please everyone but that's exactly what we're raising we're raising a people pleasing culture who is apparently kumbaya lovey dovey except they're not they're not the spiteful <laughs> venomous snakes the, the who vehement house who harbor so much vehement rage and microaggression that um the 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 take out the rage on in, a, in this marmy laughing emoji on other people so going back to the dog thing so i just wrote you know what <laughs> yeah i just wrote a contrarian view that you know i'm not a big fan of it and you got this lynch mob coming and they're just like a pack of dogs attacking me so that happened to me and it happens to anyone whose view whose a post gets uh who has puts a different contrarian view and uh, and it gets exposed and gets uh for, for first and it's another thing and so you got this lynch mob attacking them and you got this bandwagon effect i mean you could have some stupid video or a post and the first person says oh this is so good i love it and you got all this pussified pussy bandwagon who you who are bandwagoners who will just get on the act and you get all this likes putting over likes and that's the problem with uh, the social uh, validation you don't know vox popular doesn't necessarily mean it's the right voice vox popular doesn't mean that that it is a voice a voice of god i mean yeah I, I gave that example the racism one in europe that's one and and fucking you know what fucking dislike this video i don't give a fuck fuck you Fuck you if you dislike this video. As if that's gonna somehow <laughs> ruin my fucking day. In fact, I pride on that. And that was the thing. Growing up, you know, the Monet, I used to look up to that those uh, those people, like how Salon du Refugé, like their art was vilified and they denigrated uh, and the, the rejects, they were called the rejects, Monet, the Impressionists. And there was some glory to that. First, they ridicule you and then they accept you. You know, there's the whole problem. Um, there's this whole quote so there was some glory in that the glory in being rejected the outcast and now we the society except we want to be lovey dovey kumbaya no no room for dissent no room for negativity in the process what happens people suppress their feelings and they take it out in this microaggression rage in the spiteful smarmy emojis and reviews and whatnot instead of having a an honest conversation you know what this is the worst fucked up millennia Millennial generation is the fucked up generation in the world, a pussy fat generation. And I don't think it's entitlement. I mean, entitlement means like, yeah, some people like participation trophies, but that's entitlement. I don't think it's all about entitlement. And I, I, I have issues with those people too who think it's all about entitlement narcissism. No, it's more about fragile, fragile self esteem. That's what it's all about. And ego only comes from fragile self esteem. It's like we're told. It's like we're told that we don't, we don't have fucking our balls are being taken away like we wouldn't have the balls to to um give a to go against the against the grain to, to have it ball have to have decent uh, the, the the ball to have the balls to say it uh, to be the only soul guy walking against the crowd because that's because we ultimately we, we don't stand up for what we believe in is right or anything it's like what makes other people happy what so that we can get social validation or whatnot you know what i'm done fucking randy fuck you all